Okay, hi everybody, this is the Math 31 optimization review and this is question 18. Uh, we saw a question like this uh, a little while ago. We're gonna see another one here. What it is, you got the lighthouse here and it is six kilometers offshore. And then if we go along that shore, uh, nine kilometers, there is his cabin. And so the question is, where does he land? Okay, at what point does this guy land if he can row at three kilometers an hour and he can walk at five kilometers an hour. Now, I'm gonna call this distance here x, which will make this distance here uh, the square root of x squared plus 36. And this right here, this distance will be nine minus x. Okay, so now we're gonna come up with an expression for time. And the time that he takes here is going to be uh, distance, so, square root of x squared plus 36 all over 3 plus 9 minus x over 5. So this is the distance he's got to row divided by the speed at which he rows and this is the distance he's got to walk divided by the speed at which he walks. So now we're going to take the derivative of time okay, with respect to x. So as I change this, this position uh, of where he lands we want to see how it affects the time here. Okay, and so What's going to happen here with this is with the square root here, first of all, I've got that one third, and then I'm going to get one half, and this will be x squared plus 36 to the negative one half. I'll multiply that by 2x. And then over here, if I distribute that 5, I get 9 over 5 minus x over 5. Well, that 9 fifths is just a constant. The derivative of that will be 0. So I'm going to be left with negative one fifth for that second term here which should strike us as a little bit uh, familiar because in that previous question it was basically the same thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple things. We're going to set this equal to zero because we're optimizing it. So we're going to set the equation equal to zero. Uh, and then I'm going to simplify this a little bit. I notice that my twos there are going to cancel. And so what I'm left with is uh, x over three times the square root of x squared plus 36. I'm going to bring the one half over sorry, one half, one fifth over. And now I will cross multiply, okay? To get five x is equal to three root x squared plus 36. I will now square both sides of the equation to get rid of that radical and I'll get 25 x squared is equal to nine x squared plus, uh, okay, off the top of my head here, okay, let's just do it. Nine times six is 54. Uh, 9 times 3 is 27, plus that 5 will be 324. Okay, so 16x squared is going to equal 324. And 324 divided by 16 is not obvious to me. Okay, that is going to be 81 over 4. And now if you take the square root, now if you're going to take the square root, you're going to get plus or minus uh, 9 over 2. But because of the scenario here, the only one that makes sense here is that 9 over 2. So then the question is, where should he land? He should land, well, basically, he should be landing 4.5 kilometers over, so halfway in between in this particular case here. So land uh, 4.5 kilometers, I, I guess you might say east of the point straight across. Yeah, anyway, there we go.